Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Avery. I'm 24 years old and I make videos all about personal finance, budgeting, and my goals. So if that's something that interests you, feel free to subscribe. In today's video, we're going to be doing a few different things. We are going to go over what my January 2023 goals were, whether I reached those goals, how I'm using that to shape my goals for February, and then we will also talk about what books I read in January and what books I plan to read in February. So let's go ahead and get into the January 2023 goals. I have them all here, but I just have it blacked out or I guess grayed out on whether or not I completed the goals. So for financial, I wanted to put $350 towards my Roth IRA and I did achieve this goal. I invested $309 on January 7th, so that's great. For my house down payment category, I decided to put 400, I uh, know, I, my goal was $450. I did not end up reaching this goal. I decided to do $417. 450 was a stretch goal. Um, and since making that goal, I had decided that I am changing basically my, um, what do I want to call it? I guess like my priorities and what I'm valuing at the moment and I have decided going forward to decrease how much I'm putting towards the house down payment category. If you watched my February budget with me, um, there's some more context in there as to why. Uh, the month of January was kind of trying. I have my word of the month here as recalibrate. Um, not sure if I succeeded in that because there was some pretty low lows in the month of January, but for some reason I'm feeling very optimistic about February, so let's go ahead and just keep getting into this. I also wanted to stay under my personal spending money. This is a new category for me where I'm just combining like hobbies, clothing, spending, dining out. Um, did I reach this goal? I have this blank because I have not zeroed out my January, or I haven't balanced the books yet, I guess, in January, but I can tell you that I probably did not reach this goal. I think I went over. Um, I just need to put uh, all the transactions in and just figure out how far over I am. For personal categories, I wanted to read five books and eight books was my stretch goal. Did I reach this? No, I did not. I, re I read two books in the month of January, which, you know, compared to like the average American is not too bad, but compared to myself, uh, I could have been a little better. But again, January was just a really trying time. I did have a lot of struggles with adjusting to my new job. Very, um, very, very, very busy at work. Not sure when that's going to stop. So I just kind of struggled with sticking to my goals. I think because when I got off work, I was just like, I don't want to do anything. So I don't even want to like do things that like I'm interested in, like reading. Sounds kind of counterintuitive, but yeah. Another goal I had was set up my lifestyle journal. I did buy a new journal in at the end of December to use in January. It's kind of a bullet journal, but I um can I don't have any drawing skills and I don't have any artistic talent, so there's nothing pretty about it. Um, but I am tracking some different things, just visually, like my spin classes and how many books I'm reading each month, um, as long as well as digitally, just to see how that goes. And I also have a section in that journal for my uh just writing in general so like how I'm feeling um so I gave you a lot of information there so does that mean I reached this goal yeah I did I think I got it set up by January 16th and honestly the only way I could set it up was basically to just stop caring about what it looks like and just get it up there so I can actually start using it for its intended purpose in health and fitness, my goal was to do six yoga classes. I have a yoga membership right now through the end of March, and I have a spin membership through the end of, well, that I just have a monthly membership for spin. Um, six yoga classes. Did I reach this? No, I did not. I took exactly one yoga class. I was really struggling with getting back into yoga as much as I love the idea. I don't know why, but I just felt this profound stress with going, and I kept scheduling classes and then just declining or canceling them and then having to reschedule and then cancel, reschedule, cancel. Um, I think the pro problem was a little related to like my mental health issues at the time, even though I, they say yoga can help with that. And it did. That one class I went to, it did help. Um, so hopefully I can get past this mental block in the month of February and keep going to yoga. <laughs> 
for uh, spins for my spin classes, um, I wanted to do at least 10 classes, and I did actually reach this goal. I actually took exactly 10 classes, which is probably the best I've done since the first month that I started taking spin classes. Uh, just to give a little background, I do take spin classes to get, make sure I'm getting like targeted cardio in each day. I do live in the Midwest, so the, the weather has been really cold lately, and it's winter time, so it's just good to have um, an indoor option as far as getting cardio in goes, and I really like group fitness classes and the like structure and the accountability you have with those. So I actually did really good on 10 spin classes. Um, hoping to keep this trend up in February. Uh, other than that, that's all I really have to say. Um, for four YouTube workout videos, this was supposed to be things like Pilates, um, other stuff like total body workouts, hit workouts. I did not reach this goal. I only took one class um, on YouTube, I guess. And it is what it is. I mean, this is kind of like if I can't leave the house, like say there's a snowstorm, I should do a workout video on YouTube. Uh, so if I'm going to like spin classes, I'm going to yoga classes. This isn't like a huge priority for me. I just know in the months, in the winter months, I'm going to have issues with it. Um, but yeah, failed that. I failed a lot of my goals in January just because it ended up being a lot more stressful and a lot busier than I thought it was going to be. So, yeah, it is what it is, and um, continuing with the theme of failing everything, my YouTube goals, which I don't know if I should really set metrics for YouTube, because it just, either it happens or it doesn't happen, the best I can do is just post videos, and I did struggle a little bit for most of the month with posting videos, so I'm not really surprised, I guess, um, that I did not reach the 500 goal, and I did not reach the 525 subscribers goal. I am pretty close to 500, so if you want to subscribe, be my guest. But other than that, I did not reach that, and I didn't reach post eight videos. I believe I posted five, which actually is pretty good, um, but I didn't have them spread out throughout the month like it would have been nice to. So that's how I did in the month of January. For the month of February, I am not going to set like a word of the month, but let's go ahead and look in here. And I am going to take a look and I have everything blocked off as far as my goals are. For financial, I have the goal to get $300 into my Roth IRA. This will probably be the same each month unless I get like a pay increase or something and I have more money to put towards this. But I'm hoping to put at least $300 into my Roth IRA. For the house down payment, I mentioned my priority shifted a little bit. So my new stretch goal is $400 to the house. Um, but in general, I try to save at least $350 a month now. And then I'm going to try this one again. I'm trying to stay under my personal spending money. It might be a little easier this time because I did increase it after January. Again, January was my first month of that category. So I just didn't wasn't really sure how it would go. And I'm still not really sure how it will go because... We will just see what happens and what I end up spending money on this month. So moving on to personal. I want to read six books. I know what you're thinking. If you couldn't even read five books last month, why are you going to try to read six? I think I'm going to have um, better progress with this this month simply because I just have a better handle on how my day-to-day -day work goes and I am also understanding and I'm trying to be more disciplined about using my downtime and my free time to just read a little bit here and there. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be like a whole chapter. Just be reading. And it does help with like, um, like anxiety and just having stuff to do and not spending too much time on my phone. So the goal is six books. If I fail this, I will, I will try and march something different. Moving on, I want to lose five pounds. I did gain some weight. I have been trying to lose weight um, simply because I'm trying to see if it'll help my blood pressure. I did gain some weight back during the month of January after the holidays and after just being very depressed. Uh, it is what it is. So we're going to see if I can maybe lose some weight again in February. I don't want to like be too, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself or get too down about it. As long as I'm moving my body and being happy, um, or like as long as I'm just moving my body, I should feel some sort of happiness towards that. But it would be nice if I could try to lose the weight because I'm trying to see if it'll help my blood pressure. Um, moving on. Another personal goal I have is I don't want to buy any books. Um, one of my goals for this year is to actually read the books I own. And I do own a lot of books that I have 
have both read and I own a lot of books I haven't read. So I'm hoping to not buy any books in the month of February. I did pretty good in the month of January, except I did buy, I think it was just one book. Um, so yeah, if I'm, I can't be buying more books than I'm reading because that kind of defeats the whole purpose. So I'm not buying any books in February. Health and fitness. I'm going to try to do four yoga classes this month. So instead of six, let's shoot for one a week. I think I can do this. It's just kind of hard sometimes balancing my schedule between yoga and spin and just like being alive and other stupid shit like that. So four yoga classes, that's the goal, that's the hope, and that's the dream, I guess. So we will see. 10 spin classes. I'm going to keep this at 10 spin classes because, and I've already taken one. I took one on the first day of February. Um, I'm going to go with this because February is a shorter month. I thought about increasing it, but since it's a shorter month, I don't want to increase it. So I think 10 classes is a good goal to shoot for. And it just helps me like get the most value out of my membership. So 10 classes it is. I downgraded this to three YouTube workout videos. Um, this isn't like a super strict goal, but there is some YouTubers I do like to watch. I like to watch Margaret Elizabeth and she does Pilat or I like to follow Margaret Elizabeth's uh, Pilates videos. And I also like to follow the Nourish Move Love workout channel. Uh, I don't really remember her name, so I'm sorry, but she also makes some really good workout videos that are more like total body, I'd say, and incorporates like light weights and things like that. For YouTube... Um, I'm not really sure if I should have these goals. Um, we'll see how February goes, but I do, I have downgraded it to 515 subscribers. Uh, if I could reach that by the end of February, that would be very nice. So here's your hint to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, the stretch goal is 525, so I just downgraded a little bit, so I'm fine with that. And then as far as YouTube video goals, I want to post five videos, so a little over one video a week, and I think I can do it. I have a lot. It's not from lack of content. It's just from lack of time and lack of motivation. So if I can just get a handle on those things, I should be able to post videos. So those are my goals for February. And then very quickly, I'm going to show you what I read in January and what I plan to read in February. So if you watched my what I read in January video, I did a separate video for it. I'm just going to combine it into these monthly resets um, and monthly goal setting videos. I wanted to read four books. I ended up reading two of those books that I listed. The first one being The Body by Bill Bryson. This was a really good book. I really liked it. If you're into like science and like learning, I guess, about the anatomy and how the like physiology and how your body works, highly recommend The Body. I felt like I was underlining every other word. Like it was just so interesting to me. And then the other book I read was Trick Mirror by Gia Tolatino. This is an essay collection. Um, it's called Trick Mirror Reflections on Self-Delusion. It was pretty good. I would give it about three to four stars out of five. I'd give the body five out of five stars. Um, I do like essay collections, so if those are something you're interested in, I would recommend this one. Um, but if you're not, like, super into essay collections... Uh, I still think it would be a pretty good one to read. It's pretty popular as far as just, like, general books go. Uh, I feel like it's kind of hard for essay collections to get, like, popular. So, this one has. So, it might be something to check out if you want to read something a little different. So, my February TBR, I want to read six books, but there's only five here. That way, the sixth one can kind of be up to me when I get to that point. First one I want to fin read is, I actually want to finish this book. It was on my January TBR, and I did start it. I just didn't finish it. It's called Sundown Towns, A Hidden Dimension of American Racism. It is Black History Month for February, so it's probably a good idea for me to finish this book. Um, it's just very uh, dense. It's like over 400 pages long, and there's a lot of research and analysis, and it's honestly quite depressing. So just something to keep in mind if you decide to pick up this book. Another book I want to read, this is also coming from my January TBR, I want to read uh, A Small Farm Future, Making the Case for a Society Built Around Local Economies, Self-Provisions, Agricultural Diversity, and Shared Earth by Chris Mahe. Uh, so I'm hoping to finally get to that one in the month of February. I'm just not sure if I'll do it in this order. Uh, it's also another pretty dense book from the looks of it. 
The third book I want to read, and I've actually am about halfway through, is Her Body and Other Parties, and it's a story collection by Carmen Maria Machado. Um, really enjoying this. I have been kind of alternating between this and Sundown Towns just to get some more fiction in. Um, the story collections are a little eerie, a little spooky, and a little strange, so if that's something you are interested in, uh, I would recommend checking this out. It's also a pretty popular story collection. It came out a few years ago, though. Um, I have another book by her called, I think it's called, no, I don't know what it's, Inside the Dream House, I think is what it's called. Um, it's more of like a memoir, and it's supposed to have a very interesting structure to it. So I'm very, look, very much looking forward to that one later in the year. But for this month, I'm reading this book by her. Fourth book I want to read is another fiction book. I do tend to lean towards nonfiction, so I'm hoping to get more fiction in in the month of, or in the year of 2023. So I'm going to read this book that I own called Earthlings. It's a novel by Sayaka Murata. I have read her other book listed on here, Convenience Store Woman, and I, li I liked it a lot. Um, it is this her writing is translated from Japanese. Um, I actually quite like uh, translated literature, and I do tend to lean towards translated Japanese literature for some reason. Um, I've read another translated liter or translated book. I'm like tripping over my words. I read another book that was translated from Japanese at the end of last year called No Longer Human, and um, that was also pretty interesting. So. That was also another fiction novel, so something about that Japanese translated literature I'm pretty much into. Um, so I'm hoping to read this. It's supposed to be a little weird. I think it might be kind of like a horror book, or it's mostly kind of just gross. So kind of into weird books, so we will see how that one goes. And then finally, for uh, the final book I definitely want to make sure I read for the month of February is, here I can just delete this, it's the autobiography of Malcolm X as told to Alex Haley. I want to read this because it is also, like I mentioned earlier, it's Black History Month and I've had this book for a while and I really need to get around to reading it. So I am really hoping to get to this book. I probably will start it next after Sundown Towns or I'm going to finish it or I'm going to start it after I finish Her Body and Other Parties. So yeah, that's uh, everything I wanted to say in this video. Um, if you are excited for the month of February, tell me what you're excited about in the comments down below. How did the month of January go for you? Did you have any goals that you reached or any big milestones that you reached and as far as like whatever you are trying to accomplish in your life? Just let me know. Otherwise, um, like this video because it helps my channel and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.